welcome back to the club. We're your hosts. I'm Akila Friend. And I'm Evan A. Chapman. Today, not only do you see that we're joined in person. We're so excited we're about so this. We're so excited. <laughs> we're so excited. We have an in-person guest today. Manny doesn't even know what he stepped in the today. He's like, what is happening? But it's all right. We're started. It's recording. It's going on. Um, we're joined by Nigerian-born, D.C. native, and independent artist on the rise, Manny Wells whose latest album, Mirage, would have you floating, feeling so good, a million times over. Oh, so you, wow, you like what I did I like there. That. You like what I did there. Oh, yes, okay. yes. If you're a fan, you know what's up. If not, after this, I'm sure you're going to listen to his album and then some. And then just repeat this episode. But <laughs> let's welcome Manny Wells. We're so happy to have you here. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for being here. Um, I know, like we said, you're originally from or living in Maryland, but mm -hmm. you're out here in LA, mm -hmm. except for a few weeks now. Like, yeah. just tell us what that's all about. Like, what do you, is this something that you do every year, every quarter? Like, is this like a retreat? What's, is it a private? <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> so I'm, I'm out here working on music, finishing up a few people's projects. Um, so like, I have, a, I have a publisher, and outside of like just releasing my own music, I write and produce all my stuff. So like. I have too many songs that I probably wouldn't release and one of my goals is to like serve other artists and creatives so helping them write helping them produce and get like their you know their vision out right. sonically right so right right that's why I'm out here and um it's been cool it's been cool that's dope yeah. working with other so, artists that's yeah. so cool so how do you guys how do you get in contact with you do they like contact you or you're like oh yo you're dope let's work together like how right. does that process work it's a it's a little bit of like both um I have, a, I have a team, my management, and then my publishing team, they reach out to like different creatives and they're like, hey, what do you think about this person? Do you want to work? And I'm like, no, <laughs> yes. Um, okay, good, so you get to choose. Yeah, you get to oh, choose. Yeah, 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 I love that. I get to choose. And that's it, yeah. That's not the one. <laughs> Swipe left. <laughs> yeah. Swipe left. And then sometimes it's like, oh, I know this guy already. Like, I'm just going to send it to my management so they add it to the calendar. Not bad. Yeah. Anyone that you can reveal right now that you're working with? <laughs> I've worked with them before, so. Mm. Okay. You, okay. You can, so who yes. is it then? <laughs> <laughs> I got them telling you, Jadena's on the next album or Wale. Whatever. All right. What are we, what's hey. happening? Hey. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's no, no. happening. Yeah, okay. okay. I, love I love that. I love that. Right. There was no, it was, it was wishy washy on that yes, answer. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, I think I speak for both of us when I say, like, I was so shocked and intrigued when I saw your latest tweet, or one of your um, earlier tweets when you talked about your album, Mirage, and that it was actually about Instagram. Because the first time when I listened, I'm, you know, thinking it's, you know, relationships, women, all this kind of thing, and I'm just mm -hmm. listening to it like that. And then when you revealed it's about Instagram, I listened back, <laughs> and you were like, oh! <laughs> that's like, connecting yeah. all the dots. So, like, what prompted you to enter or center your project around social media, specifically around Instagram? I mean, I just hit a point where I was like, I am addicted to Instagram, <laughs> and I don't like this. Yes. And it felt like drugs that I didn't want. So <laughs> just peace. Guilty. Yes, um, guilty. Right. guilty. Yeah, guilty. 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 This one day I was driving. I was driving on the highway, and um, I was on Instagram like scrolling. Yeah. But I wasn't really paying attention to like the road and stuff. I didn't get into an accident. I kind of like swerved. Yeah. And that was to me. That was a big yes. wake up call. Like, bro. Stop. <laughs> so I called Sarah and I was like, I think I'm gonna just make the project about, or I'm I'm gonna let it inspire the whole project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's interesting because right. honestly, you're not the only one. You're you know not, what I'm saying? Like, obviously, yeah. this is a thing that everyone, especially the like millennial generation, yes. we totally relate to right. being addicted to Instagram. For no reason. Like, I find myself, yes. like, I wake up in the morning, I'm on my phone. Why? <laughs> right. I'm, like, bored, sitting on TV. Oh, Let me get phone. on my phone. Right. Yes. Like, looking at Instagram, looking at the same people doing the same yes. things or being jealous about not right. having right. the right. phone yes. like, yes. all of the things. And I'm, like, yo, like, I have that same realization. I'm, like, I have to stay off Instagram right. because I'm literally comparing myself more, like, oh my god they're doing this oh I why am I not like this whole right. weekend I didn't do anything yes. and I see all my friends out and I'm like I want to be out I, I, like, so I want to be out yes. Yes. Like, what yes. are you doing <laughs> why are we just not doing anything but it's like you have to take the time to like also sit back and enjoy life mm -hmm. and but you have those moments right yeah. so it's crazy like for you it was like a highway moment for you to recognize like oh actually I need a I need a right. break I need yeah. a step totally. back like I'm definitely I'm on an Instagram hiatus now and it's so crazy to even say that right mm -hmm. like I'm on a social media break <laughs> like, right it's great I'm it's loving great. it but I'm gonna come back probably tomorrow <laughs> but I was <laughs> she's been gone for a while I'm gone I'm gone I've been gone for months 
months. Oh, it's been months. months. Okay. And I'm one of those yeah. like budding micro info. So it's like it's a thing I should do, but I'm like, no, I need to take a right. moment and right. I'll step on back. And so, I'm always yeah. on her. I'm like, girl, you're not on the gram. What yes. are you doing? Like, cause she was like, I need you to keep me responsible. <laughs> like, make sure I'm posting constantly and. Yeah, she's just not she's on it right now. Let's she, that's it. what she keeps saying. We, we came see. to talk about you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we came to talk about we you. <laughs> Your first song <laughs> in um, Peace, your first song on the album, for those who don't know, um, I'm going to read out the, the cap or like the first couple lines. This feels like drugs that I don't want because every touch makes me want more. Can't go a single day without using. Like, what do you really think? Like, is social media ruining our lives or not? Because uh, <laughs> from that, I was like, wow, that's that's a way to start it out. <laughs> that's a way to start it. I won't say it's ruin. Mm. Wow, that's a good question. <laughs> I think that social media is is very useful, yeah. and I think social media could. It I think it already is, but it, it it like pushes us forward. But in the same sense, mentally, it's pushing us backwards. Mm. So I think there's this like duality. There's this like battle going on and trying to like balance both. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, I'm meeting a lot of people on this on this app that could change my life. But then mentally, this is extremely draining. So I think after, like, as I'm self-aware and I'm aware of this, I just try to create balance. Where, like, you just said you're going hiatus. Is that hiatus? You know, hiatus. Yeah, hiatus. Yeah, hiatus. hiatus. Right. hiatus. Um, so I, I have a lot of those. I just deleted Twitter like yeah. two days ago. I was like, I don't need to be. Wow. On Twitter right now. Yeah, yeah. So I how does that, that work? Like that. being a music artist when, you know, our generation is so much on social media and that's kind of where you're getting your fan base or interacting with people and people kind of put high value on the amount of followers you have, like brands and yeah. other artists and how you're going to work with them. Like, you know, some artists are like, I don't want to work with them. They don't have X amount of followers. Yeah. You know, yes, so a lot how of does that right. work? for you when you're like, I need to take a break, it's too much, I'm addicted. But at the same time, your business is very much so, can be social media based. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the power of having a team, one. Okay, there you go. Um, <laughs> there you go, that's what it is, that's what we need. That's Akila, we found that, that was good. <laughs> we knew this, yeah. <laughs> we knew this. <laughs> like, I have, I have help, but then at the end of the day, it's not like I'm dropping content every day. Like, right. Instagram isn't the place where people drop content every day, like True. TikTok. True. So, I think we just come up with excuses to, oh, I can't. I can't. Right. Nobody's saying you want. Nobody, right. <laughs> if it was that important, they'll send an email they would, to manage. Right, exactly, you know? exactly. But I, I have to... <laughs> like, send an email to manage. I love it. I had to... I had to face that reality I'm like boy nobody checking for you like yeah, that link in bio like yeah. <laughs> check, check it Literally, out so. <laughs> so that's great yeah. yeah but i guess when you are kind of like a star like at some point mm -hmm. like it's i guess it does differ right. you know what i'm yeah. saying being a micro influencer and having to post every that's day having to do the thing mm -hmm. that's different than being an artist and that is your off of that is your talent mm -hmm. right there. People come for that talent. So whether you're posting every three months or every day or every two days, nobody cares as right. much because they already like you as the person. You don't have to sell right. them yes. anything. Right. You don't or have to sometimes sell yourself. curate it like that because I see some musicians, oftentimes rappers too, like, okay, you're probably posting a chain. Like you're not, it's nothing really about your life life and that mm -hmm. involved where you feel like, oh my gosh, if I don't do this, then I'm like looking crazy right. or not. Right. I think it's so crazy. I don't know if you guys saw today, um, Issa Rae posted that she was got married. married. Yeah, literally got married, and I'm like, what? First of all, I love that because where was this man? Not even hiding, but it was just not She's in our. She's been wearing a ring though, and I was kind I of like, I never noticed maybe it's that. Just like joy, and like so it's the same sort of situation where it's like, you know what? Maybe there's a there's a way to do social media for you that'll work. So, love that. <laughs> but let's dial it back a bit. I want to just kind of get more insight on how and why you decided to pursue music in the first place. I was born into music. My dad's a musician. Uh, my mom was like, when she was pregnant with me, they were working on like my dad's album. So like, wow. I was literally born yeah. into, into <laughs> music. So I grew up loving music, but I wanted to play soccer first. Mm. I, I still love soccer. Soccer is like, soccer is like my first love. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, music is just really powerful, and I. Th and I just decided that this is the tool that I'm going to use to serve people. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, like I, I, I grew up performing with my dad and then he took me on stages with him, took me to different places and I kind of learned how to perform and how to work the stage. And I came across Ryan Leslie on YouTube and Ryan Leslie was making a beat. 
I was like, yo, I, this is what I need to do. <laughs> so I, I taught myself how to produce. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, oh, so wow. How, how did like, you, like, <laughs> literally? So we, <laughs> produce, <laughs> yeah, listen, we produce our own little show here, right? We got the little studio. You see the setup. Yeah, you see the setup. Right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> and the amount of YouTube University that yes, we have training, gone through everything. trying to, like, edit the videos and do the whole mm -hmm. thing. I like can't even <laughs> tell you like, how do you teach yourself how to produce like a song, music, because there's so you have to use the audio thing and then there's different tracks yeah. and how they all go together. Right. And the whole thing it's like how do you teach yourself how to do that? I, I guess I, it's just interest. It's yeah, I was mm. I was always interested though. Right. Like even even in Nigeria, I was listening to like Timbaland and Aaliyah on the radio and my mm. first question was like how are they making this beat? Yeah. So wow. I always I kept that same curiosity to like tenth grade in high yeah. school. Yeah. When I saw somebody do it. So it clicked and I was like, Oh, that's how they do it. Yeah. So I called my cousin in Nigeria, Yo, what's that software that you Because <laughs> he, he uh, my cousin's a man, he also makes music in Nigeria. Oh, nice. Um, Look at okay. Yeah, so like, yeah, like, like, right. like, really yeah, my my family is like musical like my little brothers sing way better than i do <laughs> and they don't even want to make music yeah you know like my sister sings in the choir that's amazing um my mom has a has a pretty decent voice yeah. it's, you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> so but like i always had that kept that same curiosity so when i saw ron leslie make the beat I, I literally ran off the bus. I didn't say bye to nobody. <laughs> like, I'm going to find this software. And ever since then, I've never stopped producing. That's incredible. Yeah. And just the, yeah. like, I feel like just you have the interest and you stuck with it even yeah. from a young age. I feel like that's incredible too. But it's and, the and interest, interest and the ear. And the ear. Because it's true. You can't, not you everybody can make a beat. You know? <laughs> okay. You can make a lot of things. And it's just like, just put it down. So yeah. <laughs> that's not it. But I think it's also, it's also crazy. Um, we're not even crazy. It's, it's refreshing to hear someone who's, you know, have a, has a Nigerian background because you and interested in something creative, creative, creatively, mm -hmm. <laughs> and has a whole family that's also backing you on that front yeah. because you kind of don't hear that you you don't. you don't hear that I'm Jamaican or my family is and it's kind of like it's not to the same intensity that I hear Nigerian born families or African families in general Absolutely. like you know okay doctor yeah. lawyer engineer, engineer. Yeah. what's up yeah. <laughs> but that's you a know? lot of like like Indian culture too yeah, that way. yeah. same well. sort of same mm -hmm. sort of thing and just especially first generation where it's like okay like let's like, like I came to America, came, you better came here get together. Yeah, yeah. I came here for you. Where's the milk? Where's the honey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're trying to retire. Okay. Right. Said, no. Literally. We're not so playing it's the interesting. Games. Like, what was that? Di or you didn't really have to convince anyone. It sounds like to say. I I didn't. Right. They, they wanted me to finish school, mm -hmm. but I think me even like stepping out of school was a little bit of like reality and like some spiritual stuff because I I got to a place where we couldn't really afford tuition, being a DACA recipient mm -hmm. and not having access to like in-state tuition, paying like international fees. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I went into like prayer and fasting mm -hmm. and I just, I just got a revelation. I got a revelation, but I didn't trust it. And this guy, a random guy at my church called me and told me the same thing that I just kept hearing. What was that? So I, I kept hearing the, the voice like, just go. Go, go, and I'm like, I'm tripping, man. <laughs> Nobody talking to me. Was <laughs> <laughs> God? Was God talking to you? God was talking to you. Yes. And then he called me and was like, Yo, I just feel like I feel God telling me to tell you to go. Wow. To like go after that one thing that was on your mind. I I left school that day. That wow. After that call, I told the next day I told my mom that I wasn't going back to college because we one we couldn't even afford it. Right. And my sister was two years younger than I. Mm -hmm. He's two years younger than I. Mm -hmm. And I just told him that, hey, I think we should focus on helping her get through school. And now, like, she has her master's. Get it, girl! Oh, yeah. On all fronts, on all fronts. Yeah. And, and, and it's, I didn't even know with DACA recipients, it's one of those things where you have to pay out of the international tuition costs. Like, yeah, that is, prior to That's DACA. ridiculous. Prior to DACA. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. But still. <laughs> Wow, that's yeah, interesting. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, crazy. let's let's dive into that a little bit. So, for so folks who don't know, DACA stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, mm -hmm. and so you're a recipient of that. And so, for everyone's awareness, with DACA, it just means it just protects the children of folks who may have come to the U.S. different paths, um, <laughs> and allows them to really like stay and yeah. legally work here. Yeah. Yeah. So, like with that, like how has it really affected your life being a DACA recipient? And you know it. From what I know, and you, I mean, obviously you've lived this, so you know more than me. It's one of those things where you can't potentially leave the U.S. Is that part of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can't, you can leave now with okay. advanced parole, but that itself is like a whole. Sounds like a process, process. right? Yeah. That sounds right. like a whole situation. So, yes. you know, the process, you have to pay like five, 
four or five hundred dollars and you still aren't guaranteed re entry. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's like, a risk. It's a, it's mm-hmm. a big risk. It's a big risk. Oh no. Yeah. So it's almost like, and I think every year, don't you have to pay to stay in DACA? Is that one of those? Yeah, things? it's like every two years. Every two years. Mm-hmm. But they were it. fighting to shorten that yeah, time frame, yeah. right? It's, but it was it's three, then two, yes. then they try to make it one. So yes. I guess how helpful is, I mean, besides the fact that you get to stay here, right. it sounds like it's a program that helps you stay in the States, but you're still, you know, paying out or still having right. to, like, there's still, you know, um, barriers, I yes, guess, yeah. when it comes to this program that's supposed to protect you. Right. That's it's, interesting. It's helpful, but then it isn't at the same time because I I have a theory that they're, they're trying to buy us out. Mm. Because if you move from three years to two years to one year, sure. the whole idea is that a lot of these people can't can't even really afford. Ford, right. Yeah. So, I myself am blessed to do music, and even if they did it for a year, I believe I'll be able to afford it. But not, not I, it's not everybody, yeah. mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So, right. but on the flip side, it's like you know we can still we can still work, we can still drive, we can sure. travel and do all these things within the United States. But I'm a musician. So I want to go to Nigeria and do a show. I, I can't. Like I, when I did the tour with Jadena in twenty seventeen, I couldn't go to Canada. Wow. To do my show there, you know. Yeah. And then what about like your family that's still in Nigeria, right? Yeah. I, ones, it's yeah. Like you I haven't seen the ones that come frequently mm. in like seventeen years. That is big. That is big. Yeah. They need to really, you know, because it's like this is is your home now. You know what I mean? So it's Mm -hmm. kind of those things where it's not even like there's a path to citizenship or a path to a, you know, if that's DACA for you to, let's say, until you're 18 or something like that. And then afterwards, there's perhaps a process. Right. Well, clearly, there's always this (laughs) bump in the road with government and always trying to, you know, but that is definitely a good thing to kind of put out there to say that, like, you know, I'm in the program, but. There are yeah. barriers. There are yeah. things that, you know, I can and can't do. And yeah. that sucks and it's limiting for you in your career as yeah. well. Totally. Totally. So, I mean, we've seen, too, in recent times, like, obviously, the DACA policies that we kind of just talked about were such, like, a hot-button topic. It was such an election issue. Um, in 2018, you did a compilation album, a Grammy Award-winning. <laughs> Boom. Right. <Okay. laughs> Let's make that clear. Put it out there, girl. Put it, it out there. With, with other DACA artists. Um, it's called American Dreamers, Voices of Hope, Music and Freedom. Um, and it was uh, won a Grammy, like I said, for the best large jazz ensemble al- album. Like, why was it so important for you to get a part of? Like, how did they know to reach out to you to put you in the mix? And just, you know, how does it feel in general to just be a part of a whole, like, Grammy award-winning project? It feels good. It was surreal. <laughs> um, um, I think they found out about me because I just always shared my story. I always talked about being a DACA recipient because one, a lot of doctor recipients are very timid and just scared to like share their story. But I got to a place where I, I, I was tired of like living in fear. And I just felt like I needed to speak up for a group or uh, that community, especially just being black. If the black individuals, like the black folks that are undocumented don't say anything. Yeah, <laughs> you don't hear like, <laughs> it. You don't hear it. You don't hear it. My guitar player was a doctor recipient. For, and I didn't know for like a year or two. Wow. Until I started sharing. He's like, hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro. Bro. Yeah. You're like, I know. <laughs> so after that, I just, that kept me, that kept me going. And um, somebody reached out and was like, hey, we're working on this project. I just did it because it was, it was DACA. Right. I didn't, I wasn't thinking about it. Like Grammy. Yeah, and right. Mm-hmm. I did it um, at the studio in, in DC. And then I came out to, I came out to work on Wale's project in like 2017, 2018, something like that. Yeah. And then I, I just text me like, hey, this is not nominated. I'm like, cool. <laughs> it's, it's nice. I think it's really nice and you're able to create in a space where you feel it's the most pure. You're enjoying mm-hmm. it. You're having a good time. And it just happens to, you know, fall in the hands of yeah. the Grammy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or like, or whatever award uh-huh. it yes. wins, you know, yes. it's kind of like, oh, well, that wasn't my purpose. Right. But Clearly, it had a bigger purpose than right, what I right, had imagined, right. and so that's always. I feel like that that feels the work the most. Yes, rewarding. Is rewarding, kind of like absolutely. It's, I get that. I mean, but you also we're gonna reel it back in because we heard you drop a few names. You said Jadena. <laughs> you were doing things. Wale. Wale. We know with peace that we talked about earlier. Thames is on that that song as well. Like, how did some of those con- connections come to be? And I don't know. You just doing things. You doing it. Talk right. about the things you doing. Right. Right. <laughs> So with with Jadena, long story short, I had a photographer friend 
that just he was doing a shoot with them. And he just kept playing my music, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Who's this?" Love so that. that's how that connection came about. Wale reached out to me. Um, I think it was like late 2017 or 2018. He was like, "Yo, I like what you're doing." Let's work, and I bought myself a ticket to LA. Of like, course, <laughs> right, right away. Like, I didn't even wait. Um, <laughs> so I'm actually gonna be there tomorrow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, how soon can I get on the track? <laughs> and then with Thames, I reached out to Thames, and she had like 2,000 followers. Love that. Like, I think she had just dropped Mr. Rebel mm-hmm. either late 2017 or 2018, and I. One of the first messages like, yo, you're a star. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, she clearly, is. clearly. She is. I, was, I was driving last night and like she came on and I was like, it's just nice because I have like I say random mm-hmm. songs at random right. times. So like, there's things that I don't know the words to and things mm-hmm. that I do know the words to. So like when things come on, I'm like, oh yeah, it's like oh wait. And I was like, t- we were just talking about her yesterday. Mm-hmm. So um, I have I a like, question. Yeah. Do you guys download albums or songs? songs but i do sometimes do albums when i'm like man this is crazy like pops she knows because like it's always in my library like when everything happened with pops i was like man like this is wild i had one of two of his songs and i just went ahead and did the album or like sometimes if i just want to know i want to listen to something over and over again i'll do the album but nine times so for me it's songs what so for me it's definitely songs so Mm -hmm. what i'll do is i'll go on spotify and that's the one i had because i paid for that one (laughs) Um, and i'll listen to like if there's an artist so like her for example i'll just listen to like the full album just on spotify i'm not great liking anything Mm. i'm not downloading anything yet and i'll just like listen to the songs and see which ones I connect with the most and, and then, then I'll, the songs. I'll download the songs, the songs that yes. I like or sometimes I keep going back to it just search again like right and yeah. then sometimes there's artists where I'm like okay the full album is like my right. vibe I'm right. just gonna do just the full do album it, listen to yeah, it yeah or like song. follow that right. artist on Spotify so right. then I'm getting notifications or whatever when they're dropping and that's stuff. interesting because she's a Spotify girl I'm Apple Music Apple all day and so, right I'm like <laughs> Apple Music they came out the new special audio that I don't really hear the difference but I don't know if it's I don't even what is that Okay. Like, like some new way of like listening to the music, I guess. <laughs> surround maybe sound. Maybe you need surround sound. Yeah, like you, need, maybe. you need some different yeah. speakers. Maybe that's what, <laughs> maybe it, that's what it is. <laughs> but it's so, it, is it kind of one of those things where you tell us, like, is it better for an artist? It sounds like better if they download the full, if someone downloads the album versus the song, or it doesn't really matter when it comes to I don't it. think it matters. I'm mm-hmm. just in a space where when I talk to, like, because I, I still, I think I'm still, like, up and coming. When I talk to artists that aren't, that haven't done as much as me and they're stretching about a full album. I'm like, what are you doing? Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Stop. <laughs> right. Great like, advice. It's a song. Yeah, Great just advice. make a song, make the song. Mm-hmm. until there's a demand. It's like supply and demand. You yeah. supply and then when there's a large amount of people that are asking for an album, you deliver. Don't that's give them true. an album if they're not asking they're for not it. Asking okay. For it. That's true. You know what's funny? Okay, so there's been like a huge debate all over yeah. like social media and stuff about Normani. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Normani, she keeps coming out with songs, and she just came just out with another spirit. one, Cardi B, and then it's like, where'd she go? So everyone's like, oh my god, I just want her to stay in the energy, stay, like, keep giving us music, keep giving us right. love, right? So maybe now she'll come out with an album if people are into it, because she yeah. did the motivation, and then she went away, and now she mm-hmm. came back with Wild Side. So maybe people aren't giving her the energy she needs. I don't she wants know. Consistently. Who right. knows? Who knows? I mean. <laughs> What you gotta say? <laughs> Break down the theory. I, I, Break it down. I, I, I think I think that's it. I, cause I, I kind of know like some people on her team. So that's that's a little bit. That's that's a part of part it. Part of it. Um, I'm sure there's more to the story. There's more. Of course, yeah. there's always there's more, more to the story. Who knows? Right. I'm just throwing things out there. Maybe she. But wants the thing to do too it is like with yeah. artists. So now we're talking about teams. Let's <laughs> talk about teams. Yes. Let's talk about the teams. Um, with artists, sometimes there's always, you know, they'll we'll have that one hit wonder or that person that comes mm-hmm. up with the one scene and you're like, that was fire, where'd they go? Yes. And then you always hear later that it was like a management problem, it was out. right, yes. <laughs> it was a like, okay. like contract yes. issue, yes. they like spent all their money before, yes. they could even, you know, whatever, whatever. The songs right, right, different right. people. Yes, or, or they like, don't own their shit. So mm-hmm. tell us about your team, how you pick them, how you found them, and what makes your team special so yes. that it's kind of like, oh yeah, like I'm not concerned about, I'm, I'm reading the contracts myself, I'm going line by line. Like what are the things that you're doing to kind of protect yourself as an artist? Man, I met my manager when in like 2015 when we were in college where she that i just dropped out she was in college <laughs> right. i did a performance at a, at a school and we became friends first okay. mm-hmm. and then we would we were just cool for like two three years like hey what's up you good checking in x y and z um at some point i thought i thought she didn't even like me because like <laughs> she wanted to like play my music to a label and i was like so anti-label then <laughs> 
I don't think they just hit me up themselves. But <laughs> so that's Sarah. Um, my I have like a like a mentor, business advisor, business manager. That's just he's been in my corner since I could remember, mm-hmm. and he was the first person to tell me that I was a star. Mm-hmm. But same thing, we just we became cool outside of music, and then he just gave me free game for nothing. And I'm like, hey, what do you want? Yeah. Like, even today, I'm like, hey, how do you get, how do you get paid for this? He's like, it's good, it's cool, let's right. keep going, you know. So like, my team is filled and filled with love, and it's pushed with love. And if you don't have love, you can't like, you won't be a part of our organization because right. we wanna, we stand for something like, we all believe in something greater than ourselves. Yeah. We, we all believe in God, and we know that we're on a purpose and on a mission. So if you're in here. For selfish reasons, or you want to look like you're pop, you know all these yeah, different yeah. things. <laughs> totally. Like you, you won't be a part of our organization. So with that, I can trust Sarah with a with a meeting and me not being there. I can trust my um manager. I can trust even like we have like somebody who assists us now. I I can trust you know Chloe to do certain things without me being yeah. there. Just let me that's be in the want. studio. Yeah, you know what exactly. I'm saying? So. That's that's how I picked my team, yeah. and I just thank God for that grace mm-hmm. to be able to do that. But because yeah. I know a lot of people don't get to get that yeah, not not that you know? story, not yeah. that opportunity. And yeah. on on top of that, just the fact that you do have love. But you know, money does change people. It money, does. True. True. money makes people feel and act different. Feel mm-hmm. more entitled. Feel more, you know. Oh, I want this. I want that yeah. from yeah. you. Especially, you know, being an artist, where you're the one kind of like paying all these people. Yeah. You know, right. that they feel mm-hmm. like they should have more of whatever it is that you're yeah. getting right um so you know and but it's great that your team is rooted in love yeah. that, and, and has the endurance where it's kind of like it happened before like the major right, moments, right, right you know right, so it's right. like it's always been around people who sure. are down you gotta, sure. you you gotta, gotta find gotta, people that are listen, down with is, the cause when you're shooting in the gym who are those people who's there, <laughs> who's there? Yeah. Who's there? Right. that's really how it is <laughs> <laughs> um i like to like just throughout this whole conversation and definitely when you were talking about the team you kind of make it a point to mention that your mission is beyond music in a sense like you're you're highlighting god you're highlighting your purpose you're highlighting like i'm doing this for music for my love of music but for more like can you just elaborate on that like what your what are your life goals (laughs) what is your your mission Uh -uh, what are your your mission with all this what are you trying to do (laughs) i mean the the main goal is to serve (laughs) Mm -hmm. love that so so that's why like i enjoy writing and i enjoy producing for other people but then even when I create, I look at my music as a form of service. So I'm serving you because I'm expressing myself, whether I'm going through heartbreak or I'm just extremely happy. And I want you to use this as a tool to get through whatever emotions that you're feeling. So I'm serving. And that's how I look at my music. That's the ultimate goal. Yeah. And then it just happens to be that the first form of service is through music. Yeah. So eventually it's going to like grow it might get into like fashion not even my it's it's gonna get into like fashion yeah i see it, I see it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna get into fashion like f- you know traveling and doing like missionary mm. you know philanthropist stuff um just trying to just trying to really just trying to help like, yeah that sounds awesome. like you're like using your gift for like a bigger purpose yeah. and yeah. i feel like that's I'm not saying that's everyone's goal, (laughs) but I feel like if you are a good-hearted person, that should be your goal. Like, use your platform to (laughs) want to do more, do reach out and help as much as you can, because, I mean, we're only on this earth for a short period of time, and, you know, especially if you believe in God or you're spiritual or or religious or whatever, you want to serve and and give back, right? right? So I totally agree, totally Mm -hmm. agree. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Right? We're just like, can we just, we gotta take a moment and yeah. just like, let that all sink in. It was a lot. It was good. I want to know too, just like, who else are, are you, that you're excited about working with? Like, we talked about some folks that you already have in the books and obviously would continue, but is there anyone that's like, oh man, I'd love to work with him, her, like, you know, whoever? People that I'd love to work with? Mm-hmm. Uh, Drake. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to Drake. Right. <laughs> I mean, you get on Drake's song. You, it's, yes. it's over for us. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, my gosh. They're going to be like, 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 they're going to be like, wait, we can't even get in contact with him. <laughs> like, he went to Hollywood on us. It's not going to happen. Sarah's going to be like, delete, delete. <laughs> Sarah, don't do that. She's over it. She's over it. 
something. No, we're on. Uh, the price went up. The price went up. Can't okay. even get in contact with Chloe at that no point. Chloe's out. Oh my God. No, no, no. 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 We're going to pray that doesn't happen. Now. That's one of our goals to remain like, focused. Yes. You yes. know? It's hard. It is hard. It's hard. hard. That's hard. You might be on the private jet. You might be on the private jet. Sure. Amen. Right. Exactly. Amen. Exactly. Yeah. But even the, I can just imagine the song, like the melodies, everything between you and Drake. Like, it's that, gonna that'll be, be dope. And that'll I, be dope. I feel like it's going to happen in like the next 12 months. Yes. Okay. Uh, say oh. that. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm All right. Timestamp. Yeah. Right. 12 months. Yeah. I love that. I love 2022. that. 2022. Okay. We ready? Okay. So, yeah, we'll check back in 2022. Okay. Yes. yes. July? Yes. Okay. Okay, but remember you said that. You're not going to be Hollywood. We're going to be calling you nah, out. Nah, We're going to be nah. like, I mean, who else? Yes. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I know you in LA, sir. Right. I know you here. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, so Drake. Drake, yes. Drake, Wizkid. Oh, Wizkid. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Same thing. Yeah. Next 12 months, for sure. Okay. It's going to happen. Dope. Dope. Um, Berna. Mm-hmm. I love Brenna Boy. Right? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she, that is on her playlist all the time. For sure. <laughs> all the time. Brenna's fire. Um, I love to do something with K Dot. K Dot, okay. Oh okay. my god. Kendrick is. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Yeah. Kendrick is the go. He's yeah. one of those. Like, where is where has he been? Actually, he's he's chilling. Been, I think maybe he, has he a may baby. come back out. Right. Maybe he got, I think he got married. What under the two? What have you? He'll come back out for Manny, I guess. Oh, he's working. He's working. Okay. okay. He right. was sitting. He probably right. produced some music for this somebody. This is right. <laughs> right. Okay. Trust. Songs and whatnot. Dope. Yeah. Um. Damn, I'm, I'm bl- blank right now. There's a lot of good people. I know. <laughs> but but like, I'm I'm really open. Like, if if you're dope and you have a good heart, yeah, I'm down. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, you so. need to do a collab with like I feel like if you said Drake, like Popcorn would be a good one too because Ooh. he's on the. I think that'll be lit. That'll be crazy. Shensei, I'm about to put it. Like <laughs> <laughs> the kingdom, all the people, like because I, I feel like your vibe would would just mesh yeah. so well. But yeah, I mean we're putting all of that all that good energy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all that good energy. Yeah. So speaking of good energy, <laughs> yes. How have you handled the spotlight? I mean, you seem to be handling it with grace mm-hmm. for sure from what I'm vibing with, what we're right. vibing with. But for you, coming from, I was like watching a little thing, I think it was like on the YouTube channel mm-hmm. where you were like in your aunt's basement. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm still there. Are you still yes. there? Okay, okay. <laughs> so how has just the beginning of, okay, Manny Wells, we're doing the music, mm-hmm. and now we're on, we're thinking big artists. I mean, working with big artists, being in rooms, rubbing elbows with people that you were like, you know, maybe three years ago, weren't yeah. even in the room talking your name wasn't in the room right. at all right so how has that how have you been handling that how have you transitioned and like how are you handling the spotlight i guess i'm just focused like yeah. i i think my team is really helpful with that like we check in a lot we talk about stuff outside of music i'm still in my aunt's basement so when i go back to maryland i'll go back to work in there i'm not the biggest fan of like big studios mm-hmm. Um, I just don't want to be jaded by all of that, and they get really expensive. And as a business owner, you gotta, <laughs> right. gotta, gotta take the process. Gotta think about all that. But and you own your music. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I think I'm I'm really rooted in family, so that's why I still live in like the DMV. Love that. So like, no matter how much time I spend outside of home, I always go back to kind of like recharge. Mm-hmm. And I was I was thinking about this the other day. I was <laughs> tell us, tell us. I think I was cooking. <laughs> And I was like, I'm a light. Mm. And light comes in different forms. If you're a candle and you go somewhere, like the candle's gonna run out. So you gotta go and buy a new candle. Mm-hmm. That might require batteries. Mm-hmm. It's gonna run out and then you have to go and recharge. Right. A lot of people don't recharge. That's why they lose themselves. Mm. So my form of wow. recharging is going back home yeah. and being with my mom and her telling me that I need to clean up the living room. Yes. You know, <laughs> that that keeps me excited, that keeps me grounded. And just having conversations with them because they don't they care about me more than Right. Right. They don't care about the audience. Like sometimes they can't even relate. It's like, okay, you're doing something. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm glad. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. I that's all you, okay. right. yeah. 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 That's so, all you need. Right. Yeah. So someone to humble you real quick. Yeah. It's like, oh, like yeah, you work? didn't see what I just did. You didn't see what I was working with? I don't Who's that? Oh, yeah. Who's that? Clean the room. I got I got all of that. You're like, oh right. that's cool, but you're gonna have to wash some dishes. Right. You know? And I and I love that and mm-hmm. I, I don't like fight. I'm not like, no, no. no. I'm like, okay. I wash the dishes. Right, right. So that's how I do it. Um, and I, I just, I spend a lot of time with myself as well. So like at night, especially after mm-hmm. long sessions, I don't 
listen to music in the car. Interesting. So you're silent. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. just driving in silence. Okay. I come up with ideas. I pray. I talk to God. I just chill, enjoy what's happening, like mm-hmm. at the moment, you know. Yeah. So that's something I've been doing in like the last twelve months now, and it's fantastic. It's like a form of meditation, mm-hmm. almost. And it's right. interesting. It's not like because you know people say that. Oh, in the shower. That's when I'm. I, like, I do that in the shower. I'm too. like the shower is the moment. <laughs> yeah. That or very early mornings. Like Evan a knows. Like I'm super up in the morning when no one else well now people know but like usually I'm like <laughs> I don't tell that to anyone and so then that's my moment to just be at peace yeah because yeah. Like, literally the moment 9 o'clock, the moment hits, nine o'clock it's hits. like work meetings <laughs> right. calling texting you emailing <laughs> right. 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 I need your opinion on this I really need to work on that mm-hmm. space having, yes. having um, space silent space Mm -hmm. because when I'm in the shower I'm listening to music (laughs) I'm like turning on the speaker or I'm in the car I'm blasting my music or I'm doing I'm just always on the distracted vibe Mm -hmm. multitasking doing a bunch of things doing a bunch of things and then even when I'm like I'm gonna sit and chill I'm still like oh I could work on this little thing totally Totally. so I need to work on having space for myself to just be silent Mm -hmm. even if it is driving in the car because we're in the car a lot yeah especially in LA you know yeah to just be silent. Be like still. it's okay. Be like it's, it's enjoy really nature. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's really I okay. I think people get scared. Yeah. I think I'm scared. Yeah. Or like I'm scared of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I am scared of my own thoughts. Wow. Yeah. And A revelation. <laughs> <laughs> We're just had therapy. Okay. Also, do you sleep with your phone next to you? It's no. charging. Yeah. Next under the I, pillow. It used to be under the pillow. I try to move it to the other side of the bed. <laughs> Put it in another room. A whole, A whole other room? room? Yeah. I'm like, I can't hear it. When it was supposed to wake me up. The way but my mind works, I'm like, if something I know, happens, I know. I am I gonna dial real quick to be like, Alexa. Alexa. <laughs> I have Alexa. Yeah, just buy, buy an alarm clock. That helped me a lot too, because I would put it in another room, and it'll make me get up because I still want to check my phone, but I know that I, even if I just spend like 20 minutes before, um, looking at my phone before having another yeah. conversation. I'll check my phone, any messages, and then I'll put it away again, and then I, I could read a book, I could read the Bible, mm-hmm. I could have conversations with my family, or even if I pick up my phone, I'm doing something that's kind of like edifying my spirit and like... Love that. I we, feel like we're just whole, starting a book. We started a whole 40 we're, day... A 40 day prayer, prayer challenge. challenge oh, just to, you know, fire. try to get, you know, the yeah. same sort of thing you're talking about. And I think it's so interesting because it kind of ties back into Mirage in a sense like I feel like when you you really do have focus because some people oh I'm so focused I'm so determined <laughs> so, you know, I have my books and I read my things <laughs> like, but, you, but you are like but you're like literally you are literally it's like when you notice you're on the edge of something or you notice that you know what I need to get back to me real quick it's yeah. like you have a good sense of self to say yeah. I'm gonna dial it back in this this that way, so it's great. Yeah, yeah it's bringing great. it back to the right. social media point. That's how that's you stay focused. So yeah. you don't yeah. get lost mm-hmm. in the sauce because social media will have your mind all over all the place. place. All <laughs> over, and I love TikTok. Yes, I'm. I'm growing. My mom it. is obsessed. She loves it. Oh. Yes. She's over here. I come home and she's like doing the whole. Thing. I'm like, oh mom, what have you been God. doing all day? She like learned the full dance. That's like, wild. I'm really trying to be on TikTok. I was like, mom, like, honestly. You know what's crazy though? Know, TikTok is such. I think a lot of people think it's just all about the dances. Yeah. But I see people cutting trees on TikTok. <laughs> I love, like I saw somebody make a. He made something yesterday, and I, I liked it, and I added it to my favorites because I'm gonna make it. Oh nice. You know, like, it was a food cooking, thing. Yeah, yes, food, food you know, is like, too. That's true. We, music, and producing. Chef Natasha. Yeah, she has mm-hmm. a lot of podcasts. Podcasts. Right. That's what I need to see. Probably we just need. To, I need to start liking things. I'll, on TikTok. I'll, I'll right. send you. Start sending us some. Like, send, send, send us some things. <laughs> I have, we were like, I have a homie that went crazy. He he makes music. He went crazy as an artist. Went viral, like at least like ten times. <laughs> then his podcast that. went viral. They hit like they probably had a million followers now in like okay. six months. That's, that's that's the difference because we were like, oh, we got a good TikTok. Then we were like, but we did have a good one. We had a good. We had Dance. a good. And we were like, <laughs> okay, okay, let's like, we're not dancing. Like, you know, that's not it. We're freestylers. Right. <laughs> and people love that. Like, There's an audience yes, on TikTok. Yes. Yeah. We did make one TikTok and it has like 25,000 views. And we were all like, oh my God. We went viral. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about the emails. You're like, oh, excuse me. Go right. spam. Go spam. We don't know you. <laughs> But it was great. But then, yes, that's the one ride. We're trying to get back on the ride. We're trying to get back on the ride. (laughs) That was fun. fun. What is next for you overall? Like, we talked about you, your projects, the people that you have in mind for the next 12 months, but Mirage came out in 2020. What's up this year? Just more music. 
Mm-hmm. We have something coming out with Thames in like so two weeks. Oh! Two, three weeks maybe. Oh, was that an exclusive? We got it. Did we just okay. drop it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we have that. Um, and I think after that, things are going to just get better. Totally. Things will progress. Totally. Um, so after that, I want to drop more music. Um, and then I want to tour. Yes. So the goal is to go to Nigeria this year, do a show. Um, maybe London, do a show. Just Love just that. hit the road, like Love just that. tour. That's right. Are you hitting yeah. the hot spots? London, Nigeria, mm-hmm. Canada, hopefully too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a trifecta when it comes Man. to the diaspora. Yeah. <laughs> that's where the people are. <laughs> for so sure. That's dope. So. That's dope. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah, man. Just I'm excited for for that. For like, mm-hmm. have you ever been? You've been touring before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Honestly, I can't imagine being on that tour bus. Like, either it's so much fun and it's like the best camping trip you've ever had, <laughs> or it's like, oh my god, it's get me the heck out of here. It's right. both. <laughs> yes. It is both. Wow. You learn people because you're living together for like a month or two. <laughs> right. So after like the first eight shows, it's all lovey like, dovey. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. And then, like, start fighting about don't poop in my toilet. <laughs> like, what? It's only like two here. Yeah. Right? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> so, like, you're like, oh my god, these guys are annoying. Yes, yes. You know, like, like that. That's my apple juice. Right, uh, like, Literally, like, like this is my. You know, right, my nigga? Yeah. Like, it's not that deep, but. Um, it is that deep. Right, it is. Like, <laughs> that would be her. Right. Oh, really? Sorry, okay. That's like, Thank you. Thank She's you. Like, like, still in my Still in my <laughs> For like today. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, to be fair, some things are that deep. Some, certain things are that deep. Yeah, like I'm, I, I have moments where I'm like, yo, don't, just don't touch myself. Right. You know. Well, then, see, I feel like in the beginning you have abundance, right? Yeah, like, I, bought, it's like, I bought two cases of soda, no whatever you need. I actually brought it for you. Right. Enjoy. But now, it's like, right. But then, now after ten shows, I'm like, I have two left. Right. Well, like, start yeah. counting. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> I want this for later. Like, it becomes a problem. Yeah. It's a problem. So all, all of that happens on tour, but like the middle is is funny, and then the last bit, you know, you're like, okay, I can't wait to be done. <laughs> even even if the shows are fun, like right. the shows are always fun. You guys the have a energy, great time. You're like, the That's my bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. And then, but when you get back on the bus, it's like, oh. <laughs> so, I can't wait to. I can't wait to do it again. Yeah. yeah. But, Oh my god! Yeah, well, I know. Dope. Honestly, well, what like, I can't wait to do again is yes. another show at the Black Creators Club. You guys already know what it is. You guys, we are on season two, episode whatever episode this is. Right. We're like in the thirty something. Okay, <laughs> this might as well be That's a season dope. three at this point. Like, welcome, 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 welcome back. back. Yeah. Okay, welcome back. Um, you guys already know. You guys can find us on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcast, and of course on Instagram. You guys can find us at the Black Creators Club. Everything is at the Black Creators Club. Please continue to watch, subscribe, listen, like, comment. Like, you see these amazing guests that we're having? Like, we're just keep pulling them out. We're just keep pulling them out of the air. Okay? So if you guys keep watching, we're going to keep doing it. Even if you're not watching, we're going to continue to do it. So, um, again, thank you guys so much for continuing to watch. Yes, yes. And, Manny, we're not done. We're not, we're done. not done. Now, we're going to play a little game. Let's just, you know, we've been loose this whole episode. Yeah. Right. I teed, I teed him up on the game. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> But the game, for those who don't know it yet, it's called Word Association. We play it a lot of times, especially yes. when we have artists um, join us. Uh, we got a shout out L Magazine because it's uh, originally from Song Association, which is a YouTube series that they play with musical guests. Yes. And so obviously we wanted to do the same with you. Um, you know, we hope you had your morning tea and uh, your water. Your water. Your, your vocals, vocals, are, are, vocals are warmed oh up. God. What we're going to do is say a word and Manny will have to come up with a song that um, has that word in it and say it. Wrap it if you want to. Right. Like whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to do. Whatever your heart desires. So oh, <laughs> the first word, okay, this might be a little, we'll see. The first word is Mary. Oh. Oh. That one, I, think it's a, I think we can do that one. It's easy? I think so. <laughs> but sometimes so you say it's easy, this. you're like. <laughs> I'm a melody <laughs> guy. Mm. We'll help Lyr- you fill in the words, don't worry. Lyrics yes. hit me last. <laughs> we got you. We, oh, we got you. a little closer because we want to hear all the melodies. <laughs> So again, the word is Mary. Uh, <laughs> this is a true creative right here. <laughs> Not him being stressed. Yes. I am so sorry. <laughs> this is a true creative. Oh. <laughs> if this was a buzzer, 
You want to hit? You want to hit? Come back. Oh, you got one, right? Okay, so jump in. Okay, jagged edge. Oh, let's just get married. Who else got something to get married? married. I don't know. We didn't gotta argue. Oh, Addison, we don't gotta argue. (laughs) Maybe at the altar. Maybe at the altar with your white dress. Wow, see, I'm not ready for the whole song. Okay, okay. You have one? Or we can jump to the next word. Next word. It's next word. This next word you got. <laughs> okay, peace. Can I give you my song? Yes, yes of yes, course. Yes. Of course. Beside, beside you. Mm, mm, mm. I want to give you the peace sign, peace sign forever. Peace yes. By Manny Wells. Yes. Love Let's it. Check that out. That's how oh we, we did it. We did it for you. That one was good for you. Yes. you. <laughs> the next word is. I'm going to do this next word. The next word <laughs> is love. Oh. Um. <laughs> She just wrote a song. Oh. Go ahead and use it. I should t- Go okay, ahead. Um, just just give us a sneak peek. peek. Come on. <laughs> it's, uh, it goes like, I love the way you look at me, the way you talk to me, the way you feel to me. Oh, I like, I love the way you handle me. You put your hands on me. Oh, my God. God. Is it bad? Uh, I never made love. I didn't, uh, uh, I don't know how to do it. Bad. I put it to. That's bad, my lady. Yes, yes, yes. We love that song. Yes. <laughs> That's That's that was, 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 that was a big, that was song. a big moment. <laughs> oh my God. The next, um, word is soul. Uh. Set my soul on fire down. It is my desire down. Down me low, low, low for me down. Down, down, down. A soul on fire by many worlds. Yeah! <laughs> 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 we were just Love previewing that. the whole album. Yes. <laughs> and you guys did that was not out. know. That was, out. That was, out. That was, out. was that from Soul Fro? Or that, that was just a, like a, a single. Yeah, a single. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was between Soul Fro and um, Mirage. Got you. Yeah. Dope, dope, dope. Okay. okay, so the next. Is this the last one? The, the last? Of the, yeah, this is the last one. Okay, the last word is million. <laughs> That's, That's not, it. Right. I'm, let me challenge myself to not do my song. Okay, okay. I love that. All right. And if I can't, I will do my song. <laughs> um, All right, I have one in mind already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like I know. I think you're you probably thinking the same one. We are. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. We are. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Uh, what's that one in a million by um? Aaliyah. Aaliyah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the one I was thinking. That's what I was like, let me know. <laughs> yes, it'll help. I got you. I got you. <laughs> that was fun. That was, uh, that you, was fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, you said I hated every minute uh, of that. Yeah. <laughs> you survived. You survived. Ma- Mary was, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's the only song I can think of with Mary. I don't know if there's another song. Merry Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Well, clearly you're gonna have us cracking up all morning, okay? <laughs> this was such a good time. Man, I hope you had thank fun. You for me. I hope you had thank fun. You for me. Yes, yes we're let so our happy. listeners know where they can find you or anything else that you want to share. Um, Manny Wells, M-A-N-N-Y, W-E-L-L-Z, no space, on all platforms. Facebook, if you still use Facebook, Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, I'm on the TikTok. All right, you're ticking and talking. Um, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> the gram, everything, Apple, Spotify, many worlds. Um, yeah, just I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy to be here. Here, ooh la la. <laughs> that. Yeah. See, Facebook right now is a whole different language to me. Like yes. right now, I don't know. Yes. You probably got the team working on that one because Facebook <laughs> is something else. I'm like, switched out too, right? Girl, You're trying to keep it up. Is it, is it good or bad? It's too much. I, too much. It's, okay. I think I'm too old now <laughs> okay. to be knowing what this. I just wasn't keeping up with Facebook. Right. So now that Facebook is back on the, you know, whatever, yeah, and it, and and like, it did I, a full yeah. new. I saw that. I saw I was, the story. Right. Yeah. yeah. I did shocked. a full new uh, revamp. I'm like lost. <laughs> I am lost on Facebook. So I was trying to set up a Facebook page for us. I'm like, girl, I have no idea. What I just kept getting emails. Facebook deleted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yo. Somebody help me. I feel like a Stone Age grandma. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but again, this was great. You can find me chatting media and life motivation, all with a dash of style. At Akila Friend on all platforms. Oh, that's I mean, okay. You, you like? You like? Right. She's like. She's my Gemini sister, so she likes yes, to switch I things switch up a lot. And I love it. <laughs> yeah. We love it. Um, my name is Ebony Chapman, of course, and you guys can find me on Instagram chatting black, everything black owned business and, of course, the Black Creators Club at Ebony Chapman 12. Yes, and of course, keep up with all things the Black Creators Club. Ebony already teed it up earlier, but we're going to say it again. Say it again for, for the like people of the repetition. Yes. <laughs> um, it's at the Black Creators Club on all platforms. Thank you so much for joining us. And and remember, always abide by your ABCs, always be creating. Bye. Bye.